one of the things that the Philippines doesn't have are dollar stores. And in the midst of a cold Michigan winter, I found myself walking into one. As I entered the store covered in snow from top to bottom, while wandering the aisles, everything I planned to buy within my hands, I saw this black notebook for $2, just sitting so lonely with all the other colored notebooks. At first, I just bought because of having a simple planner to organize my life. But the amount of interrogations and stories I had to say about my life and as an international student bought up a gyrus that meditated a new change within my life. And these journals became mosaic of that metamorphosis. So when I was asked to speak about these memories tonight, I turned to these. Here, now. Each journal entry starts the same. The date, the day of the week in Tagalog, and each journal entry starts with ngayong araw na ito, or today, and ends with a question and a positive affirmation. And my journaling journey began like this on the very first page. I really wanted to journal more, and I feel really calm and amazing when I do. Life was just so tiring, but I know I can do it. From being far away from my family to thinking about my future, I was just in awe of how life changes with a glimpse of an eye. And my world did change with a glimpse of an eye. Growing up, I was born and raised like most Filipinos, Catholic, hospitable, and family-oriented. I had over 50 family members in which we all lived two to five hours away from each other, and I knew them so well. Uh, Gina, my cousin, makes the same noise every time she messes up a cake she's working on. <laughs> Chloe, my niece, loves Frozen so much that she even vlogs about it. Oh. And my other cousin, Rika, will rant every single day and night about being hungry and there not being food fast enough on the table. And I can tell you right now that my friends and family are probably arguing about favoritism over the three people I chose tonight. Ugh. Instead of them, oh, oh God. Oh, oh. Though I was surrounded by friends and family that loved me ever dearly, I decided to fly to the United States and be an international student. On January 5th, 2021, with all the luggage I could carry, I left the warm tropical climate of home and landed in the midst of a cold Michigan winter. And let me tell you, it was cold. <laughs> oh. I don't know what I got myself into. It was bleep in cold. It was bleep in shivering that I just wanted to kiss my bleep in ass, and I just wanted to get out of this bleep in cold. <laughs> That's me right now. Sometimes beautiful. I saw a lot of fireworks tonight. They were huge, and I've never seen such a beautiful sight. I took a lot of pictures because of my amazement. Sometimes a little weird. I noticed people were putting beef on buns and layering them with cheese, and I found it weird that they were pairing it with salt and vinegar chips and cookies. So, but I was a broke college student and needed the free food. So I ate it anyways. <laughs> Big changes. It was like, Living in a world full of fun things and experiences I have never experienced before. So, 
I turned it into a daily habit. Every night, ngayong araw na ito, or today, a question, an affirmation. Oh, and one more thing, kaya. Kaya is a word that I've been continuing to say to myself for a very long time. It means you can. It is a word that is essential to me and to almost every single Filipino. It is a word that reminds me of my friends and family back at home saying, Sige lang, kaya mo yan! But home... Sometimes those littlest moments reminded me of home. The scenery. It was so nice to see these skyscrapers again as they reminded me of the skyscrapers back in Manila. Uh, The beauty. The fresh air and trees we went through the parks today reminded me of my hometown of Santo Tomas and Bawan and all its tropical landscapes. Oh, the hospitality. The loving group of international students, staff, and all the multicultural student organizations on campus reminded me of the loud and exuberant energy of Filipinos. With all of this in mind, all I said to myself was, kaya mo ito? Or simply, I can do it. Because I was surrounded with friends and family that love me ever dearly. And I love my beautiful culture. Because This is what I dreamed of. (laughs) And I did. I traveled around to different places from Illinois to Mexico, doing fellowships and research. These littlest moments of success made me feel like a rock star or like a very influential person saying a loud, empowering, and provocative message to the world. It was simply amazing. I felt like I achieved paradise and on to the path of fulfilling my dreams. At kinaya ko, I did it. Uh, I succeeded, yes. But not without a cost. I remember a time when I was working for a group project in which all of my group mates were white. Though we all got to bond very well in the beginning, one of my group mates told me, are you an egomaniac? You are not thinking right. You are not enough all because they misinterpreted me this is one of many stories stories journal entries leading to moments like this leading to moments where I felt I was flying through the air To moments where I hit rock bottom. Because the difference between flying and falling is whether I chose to do it in the first place. And while the world, both amazing, felt less like open arms and more like a prison being chained to the river with how life works here in the United States. Kaya mm, sometimes felt like a slap in the face. It 
is this the life of an international student? Being far away from the people you love. It is so nice being surrounded with a lot of opportunities. But it does come at a cost. The discrimination you experience in less than two months is no joke. Seriously, when do you feel like getting out of this? But I know I can do it. It is the best option for my future. How can I navigate a country I feel like I don't belong in? Even when I can? Even when I do? Even when the people around me are transmitting an invisible message that transcends within my brain to assimilate, detach from the culture that I'm used to. I wanted to turn back time and forget all of this. I wanted to go home. I wanted to stop killing the simple Filipino boy deep within me. So, Kaya? A word that felt like a guardian angel beaming out of the sun actually had evil mixed deep within. Because Past Jair says it best. How can I hold space for myself when for the very first time my entire life I have never thought that I would fear a simple side dive from a person despite being different in a predominantly white community. But past Jairus, the Jairus within these pages is still learning what I know now. Because there is no difference between Jairus as a person, Jairus as a Filipino, and Jairus as an international student. It's all Jairus Osara Zebulon Castillo Mir. Because Kaya is complicated. It's permission within ourselves to hold on to moments like these where we cling on to those that have huge sentimental value within us. These journals became those sentimental moments for me. Whether it be a word like kaya, a memory, or something very tangible like these. Clinging on what you can do and be, not just here, but also here. It is permission also to hold on to those complexities that we tend to forget and neglect to hear. So, to my fellow international students. Your complexities are valid and your challenges are hard. I know it is tiring being in a constricted space where you're not being honest 
with yourselves. I am too. So, I'm going to step out of this constricting space for myself. And for you, express yourself so loudly and proudly, not just here, but also here. Because I am going to be who I am and who I can be. So I'm now going to speak to you as I speak to myself, to my home, my country, in my journals, and in my escape. Because this is who I can be. Ngayong araw na ito, I leave you with this. Oras na para pag-isipan at pagnilayan natin ng lahat ng mga nangyayari sa ating buhay at tila ay magkaroon tayo ng panahon upang ipagpahalaga ang ganda ng ating sinasabi. At ang ibig sabihin nito ay pagiging mapagmahal at tapat sa ating sarili. It is time for us to think about what is happening in our lives. We should have the moment to appreciate the beauty of what we are saying. And that means loving and being honest with yourself. <laughs> and that is the Filipino worth dying for. Thank you.